and just scrying call zero. The angels are just pointing out that um, I used a slightly defective um, version of uh, Libra Loga that I was reading from the in the English transliteration. So um, I will go ahead and fix that before the noon and um, evening calls. But they're just pointing out the um, the vastness vastness of the dots of the many hearts of many infinite beings or almost infinite countless is probably a better word for it and they're just noting them in the buddhist sense of as an ocean and they're just encouraging me to really generate as much bodhicitta for all of them as possible and to relax into this and whether I know them or not, they are all beings within this universe. And many of them are suffering or will be suffering. They're in a dissatisfactory state. And this really should generate the heart just as much as it generates in the heart of generates bodhicitta in the heart of the divine. And so I'm just allowing um, anything, any hesitation that I have towards uh, generating bodhicitta to fall away and just really feeling the richness of it. And as I do, I feel this as an engine for my heart and the angels are trying to sort of upgrade this engine as they're going, um, trying to end with me being receptive and, and welcoming this. So they are really trying to change it more from an engine to like a rocket engine or something that um, is going so fast it has its own wake and they're saying that this will be superior once I am able to make the um, call with the even more perfected transliteration. My version only had um, had some final words left off of it for some reason. Um, so I'll go ahead and correct that and luckily not all of the lines were like that, but I will go ahead and correct that before the evening call, before the noon and evening calls. And, but they're just pointing that um, there's like this big uh, opening that I'm heading towards. And there's this, again, there's a large wake of things being pulled along with me. Um, and they're explaining that this is karma and that it's, it's all right, this is sort of um, heading me towards it. So to describe the opening, it seems like a big mouth, um, but, and uh, the, it's sort of on its side like this, um, but it's, it's rounder, um, it's hard to describe, but it's sort of like uh, the light side of what um, you might think of if you were like, facing like a predator or something like that. It's the, not that shadow side, but rather the light side. So it's like a whelp welcoming. And there's with it, um, just, it, it's, I sent, and, and within it, the mouth is basically outer space. And so the sense I'm getting is, is that there will be um, this push towards, this move towards greater freedom and, you know, basically once I've sort of reached that point, and they're saying you're closer to it than you think, um, but once I reach that point, it will be a transition into pursuing the fixed stars more, more directly is what they're saying. So they're just closing the vision for now, but they are just advising me one more time to make the corrections to my transliterated copies so that in the evening and noon rituals, um, there won't be anything left off. Uh, and that's it. So that's ends the vision.